let's get right to the thick of it. Everyone online is reporting that WWE has been sold to a private group in Saudi Arabia. And they're saying that as of today, the company was worth a little over $6 billion. They're also reporting that Saudi Arabia offered a ridiculous amount in comparison to others and that the company will now become private going forward. How do we have access to this information? So this is what I'm thinking. Saudi Arabia is very much interested in the product. Saudi Arabia would very much want to buy WWE. But just because it's being reported and their sources reporting the news, it's not official until we have a statement from WWE or the company that's buying WWE. Hell, sometimes even the banks and the agents release statements in situations like this. Something this big would have already gotten reported officially. Now, keep in mind, prior to these reports of the sale, it was projected that WWE would get sold within the next six months. Closing a deal this massive is going to take some time. WWE just recently hired the bank that's going to do the transaction. Okay? You cannot hire that bank and within 24 hours do the deal unless you've been working on the deal for some time. Vince McMahon didn't get voted into the board member's executive position or whatnot till today or the last within the last 24 hours. So you mean to tell me within the last 24 hours, Vince McMahon officially came back. Stephanie McMahon re-signed as co-CEO and WWE already had the offer in place to sell WWE. It doesn't make sense. Why would Saudi Arabia go all in on WWE knowing that half of the roster doesn't even feel comfortable going to perform over there? Knowing that if they take WWE from the U.S., half of the talent there won't carry over. So what is Saudi Arabia buying? Think about it for a second. Is it possible? Of course, anything is possible. Money talks, right? But I'm just thinking that it's a little far-fetched to buy into this crazy hype on social media. I honestly believe someone in WWE put this leak out so the value of the company is pretty much shown on paper. So WWE can counter offer Comcast, Disney, Fox, and whoever else is bidding for WWE. Think about it. If Comcast and Disney offered WWE X amount of dollars and Saudi Arabia went way above and beyond... All WWE has to do is say, hey, look, this is a real offer. I appreciate your offer, but Saudi Arabia, they're offering way more, bud. And all of a sudden, it becomes a tug of war. Negotiations start to flourish. So that's what I'm thinking is going on here. I ultimately believe this is all a play to inflate the prices, right? And negotiate with someone within the U.S. territory. Because as much as I enjoy the shows in Saudi Arabia. And as much as I want to see WWE get sold for the most amount of money. Right? So we could be over with this already. And see where what's going to happen with the company. Honestly, I just don't see this ultimately happening and being serious. It's just all too soon. It seems too fishy. It's unrealistic to think, oh yeah, wow, all this happened so fast. Vince is back. Stephanie's gone. They got a bank. The company sold. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. WWE has too many sponsors, too many TV deals, streaming deals, and it, it's such a huge, massive company worldwide at that. There's just, there hasn't been enough time 
There just hasn't been enough time. Now, again, do I think that Saudi Arabia is serious and they're considering to purchase WWE? Yes. I do believe it's very real and very serious and a real possibility for Vince McMahon to ultimately decide that it's time to sell to Saudi Arabia, especially if they're the ones with the highest offer. But to all of a sudden assume that this is a done deal and nothing else can be done is just a bit foolish. It just doesn't seem realistic in my opinion. It doesn't line up with all the other reports. Everything is contradicting itself. And I don't know if it's clickbait. Again, I'm not sure. I can't really comment on that. But I can honestly say that we need to hold our horses here. And if indeed WWE has been sold, we'll find out soon enough by the horse's mouth because that can't stay hidden. When Microsoft was in talks to buy Bethesda, what happened? The rumor started leaking, right? But Microsoft immediately jumped on it and revealed it. Bethesda immediately jumped on it and revealed it. Sony, when they were working on that Bungie deal, Bungie was up for sale. We knew that Sony was interested. Boom. They said, hey, we're purchasing uh, Bungie. So when a massive company or a group of people or whichever way you want to slice it, when a company as big as WWE is being sold, you need to just give it a chance to breathe a little bit because the first few sources, the first few articles, and the first few uh, breaking news uh, clicks and all that, it's just not real just yet. Is it possible? For sure. Can it happen? No doubt. But let's just wait and see till all this develops, right? And nothing against the community, the culture, the people in Saudi Arabia. I have nothing against them. I really don't. I really don't. But ultimately, if WWE gets purchased by Saudi Arabia, I know it's going to cause a lot of problems. I know it's going to create a massive amount of friction in the locker room. I am pretty sure a lot of the talent within WWE is already unhappy. We're reading multiple reports that people within WWE, not only are they, you know, scared, but they're pissed off. They're annoyed. They feel like they're being left out of the loop. And they're finding out, as we are, that they're being sold. No one likes that feeling. But I am pretty darn sure that if they get sold to Saudi Arabia, they will ultimately end up walking out. That's just the nature of the situation. And that is one of the main reasons why I wouldn't want it to be sold to Saudi Arabia. Nothing against the people there. But the reality of it is that this is a U.S.-based company that works out of the U.S. And plenty of the people within this company live in the U.S. Now, there is obviously talent from all around the world. And they have a home base in the U.S. And then they go home for extended time, but for the most part, everyone is in the United States. So imagine if all of a sudden Saudi Arabia buys WWE, they're just going to pick up their bags and move over there because they're being told to. So let's, let's just take a deep breath and, and, and take a break here. That's all I'm saying. Let's, let's wait for more details, which is why I haven't really talked about Vince. And I haven't talked about all the things that's been surrounding him as of late. Like I, I mentioned that he was coming back to the company, but there's just there's been so many reports. We don't even know what's true or not true at this point. Let's just let's just give it a chance. That's all I'm saying. 